so the first thing you want is to make the tables by heart which tables i will suggest that from 2 to 20 okay so you once you know the tables of 2 to 20 you will next part our next part is also the divisors and for that also it is advisable to know the tables okay now we will go for the multiplication in the same way the second part what we will start is the multiplication is again the counting the multi tables only see here the when i say the multiplication what doesn't it mean the multiplication is actually known as repeated addition see why i say that it is a repeated addition because once i know a number and i am adding it repeatedly suppose four times then how i will do it in short that is 4 multiplied by 6 and then my answer will be 24 okay so the meaning of the multiplication is the repeated addition of the same digit or the same number it can be a single digit number or a double digit number also that is if you ask to find out 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15 5 times then what I will suggest that do it 15 multiplied by 5 and when you know the table of 15 you can write down the answers that is it is 75 so first thing that what you remember is the meaning of the multiplication okay then the second thing about the multiplication very important property of the multiplication is any number when multiplied by 1 what can be the answer say the same number any number suppose i get 3 15 multiplied by 1 i will get the same answer so this is a very important property about the multiplication by 1 okay so same way if any number multiplied by 0 so what is an important property you know that the answer will be zero only so uh, here i su suggest that a big number is given and i ask you to divide and multiply by zero J just simple write zero as the answer as the number as any number multiplied by zero so how i will write this as important uh, any number take any number as a multiplied by 1 will be the number itself and any number multiplied by 0 will get the number 0 ok so these are the two important uh, properties about the multiplication of 1 and 0 similarly the third important property is about the multiplication of a number and the 10 100 that is the powers of 100 suppose i want to multiply 37 by 10 now it is not 1 it is not 0 also but it is 1 and 0 that is 10 just what i will do simply write the same number as 37 ones are 37 and 0 on that so increase only 0 suppose i want to write 37 multiplied by 100 how i will write 3 7 and 2 zeros like that any number when multiplied by 10 100 1000 10000 etc by the numbers which are having 1 and zeros simply add zeros to that number you will get the answer okay so this is also what uh, which thing to remember that is the multiplication of a number suppose i write here 40 multiplied by 1000 here why i give this here there is one zero in here also but don't leave that zero write that zero as it is and now add 
three zeros. Okay, and so my answer will be forty thousand. Suppose I asked you to write always the question will be there. That is one hundred into one hundred. What can be the answer? See how I will write one hundred as one and two zeros multiplied by again one and two zeros, and so on this hundred. How many more two zeros will be there? And then my answer will be ten thousand. You can write it as ten thousand, or you can write it as hundred hundreds. One hundred into one hundred will give you hundred hundreds or ten thousands. Like that, they are some properties of the multiplication should be remembered. Now we know. that we can do the multiplication of double digit number and the three digit numbers also a single digit is given no problem multiplication is very easy for the double digit if you know the table you can multiply it very easily but if you don't know the table then how, how i will multiply suppose i want to multiply 152 into 32 then what i will write here in here first i will multiply by 2 then 2 twos are 4 5 twos are 10 and 3 so it will be keeping one zero in the units place i will start with the tens place and so it will be 456 then adding together i will get 4864 so this is the method how to multiply with a two digit number when it is not in the table so what what do we know that any two digit number see i will take one example for more than that this is for the guessing purpose that is suppose a one digit number one digit number multiplied by one digit that is single digit multiplied by single digit maximum how many digits will be there in the multiplication for that i will get a single digit as 1 and a smaller digit is 1 so it will be a 1 that is single digit again but a smaller digit with a biggest digit single the answer will be 9 so again the single digit number but what it uh, happen if i get a biggest single digit with the biggest single digit and the answer will be 81 so what uh, i say like this so single digit plus single digit will be a one digit or two digit number okay it cannot i cannot say that it is always a single digit number but it can be a double digit number also if the numbers are maximum